Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are fit and fine. So this is a Lenovo Q470S laptop motherboard and it came in repair. It's uh, no power or no display, whatever. So now I will try to fix this motherboard. So let's try to fix it. So uh, this is the motherboard part number NM-A421. So now I will uh, try to fix this motherboard and I will check all the required voltages step by step. So let's start the job so plugged in and uh, look at my power supply it's uh, showing only 0 0.037 amps so now I will check all the required voltages step by step so at first I will check 19 volt in this DC jack so as you can see we have 19 volt and it's perfect and this voltage I will check on this motherboard one of these 19 volt filter capacitor so we have 19 volt all over on this motherboard as you can see next I will check 3 volt and 5 volt always so these two coil, 3 ball and 5, five volts. So let's check one of those. We have 3.3 volt always voltage. It's okay. And uh, 5 volt also okay. So I guess this motherboard it's turn on, but it's taking low amps or low load. So now I will check some voltage like uh, 1, point, 1 volt, 1 1.8, 2.5, 1.2 VDDQ, all the required voltage. So, uh, at first I will check this one. So, 922, that means uh, 1 volt. This also present. This is a RAM supply. Okay, we have RAM supply also pre present, 1.2 volt. Let's flip the motherboard. and now i'll check under my microscope so as you can see here one coil so we have one volt this one should be to 1.8 1.8 also present three volt <clears throat> okay this also okay this should be 2.5 yes 2.5 also present so it's all voltage are present and perfect so I need to check secondary 3 volt this one let's check here 3.3 okay let's check here okay as you can see 3.3 volt it's reduced to 0 0.467 at first I will check this voltage by short this two pin okay there is no short so first I will unplug this charger and shot this again and plugged in and as you can see look at my power supply which is turning on so finally we find out the problem Okay, in this case I will replace this load switch from my donor board. Because uh, we have gate voltage, 9 volt, but it's not giving output. So I need to replace the switch and I hope after I replace this switch this board will be working condition. So this is my donor board. Let's 
take all of those switch okay here it is Let's start power supply again. And I think it's done. Okay, so look at my power supply. Okay, it's turned on. Let's check here. Okay, we have 3.3 volt now. So now I will check the display is okay or not. Okay, it's turning on. Just need to wait for a few seconds to see the Lenovo logo. It restarts once again. Okay, we have Lenovo logo and we successfully fixed this motherboard. So I hope you all are enjoyed this video. If you like this video, so please hit the subscribe button, press the bell icon. <laughs> if you already subscribed my channel, thank you so much. See you in the next video. Until then, stay well. Bye-bye.